Hello and welcome to Next Day Solo. Now you might be wondering why we're in a loft space when we're talking about flat roof conversion. Well it's very simple. Any flat roof solar installation requires ballast to keep the solar panels down because you do not fix or drill the solar panels to any flat roof surface to ensure the water tightness of the system. I'm up here in the loft, we're checking the structural integrity of the roof structure before we add any of our solar panels to ensure that it's right. Now in this loft space, there's six of these structural members and we have had a structural engineer request that these are doubled up and introduce further structural supports because we're adding on about 250 kilos of weight to the roof. And now that's not all solar panels, it's about 100 kilos of solar panels in the structure to hold them and about 150 kilos of ballast. Now ballast is important because you don't fix down with a flat roof system, you simply weight it down. So that's why we're up here in the loft and it's the first place to start if you're thinking about installing solar panels to your flat roof. Now these are structural members in this loft here, there are six of them, they actually run to the joists, uh, they run along the floor and dissipate all the weight from the roof structure and there's six of them downwards to the central point here of structure to the home which is secured to brick walls. Now what we're doing in this uh, roof installation here is we're going to be doubling up on these structural members, so that's adding an additional support on the other side uh, to all of the pairs and then introducing further supports uh, in the middle there and here and that's to ensure that any additional weight that we're putting onto this flat roof surface up here will be transferred down appropriately to respective parts of the house uh, to carry any additional load. So, Now one of the other things you might notice about this loft is that there's no insulation. Now we've been discussing with the client about that and it seems like it's probably a good time to do the insulation. Now insulation in a home, if they have got a gas powered system or even an air source heat pump, will help retain the heat in the home rather than allowing it to escape outwards. So between each of these timbers here will be fitting uh, insulation and natural lambs wool insulation into these areas and that will ensure that any heat that the property is generating from its uh, combustion sources is retained and it's a good time to do it before you start looking at additional structural works to the structural members because it's obviously much harder and also before you put panels in which will require certain elements of wiring to come down. Just a quick update from me on the loft insulation projects it's going really well a um, couple of things that have happened so far so these uh, members, structural members that really support the weight of the flat roof above have been strengthened so additional bit of timber has been put in and they've been bolted together and fixed at the bottom at the top so that's really important so we now know that any of that additional load on the roof is going to be pushed down to the central um, strength parts of the home through these which is great and that's all from the structural work and then we've had this insulation this is a natural uh, lambs wool insulation it's safer uh, for installers to use it's not hazardous like some of the glass insulation and fibrous insulation that you can get and that's been um, ordered to size there's lots of different sizes and options it's been laid there and just fixed really simply uh, for better or worse uh, with some just long screws and then you've got the uh, fiber board so simple plaster board ready for painting filling and uh, you've got the various screw marks as well uh, where the plasterboard has actually been fixed in um, so it's taking shape you've got lots of insulation around the property like a big blanket that's been put on the roof before uh, the roof was like this naked and bare you've simply got the tile onto the wooden batten and you've got a cold loft space which is fine for the loft obviously all the heat from the home is rising up through floorboards even though they're insulated partially uh, and escaping the house uh, through the top. It's essentially like wearing no hat. And we're now putting a nice warm hat, a really uh, fluffy, uh, woolly hat uh, in place. Actually fits really nicely. And so here's an area where you've got that insulation and above you can see how thick it is. It's really chunky. It's actually fitting really nicely in the area. And then here you can see actually the clips um, on the back of the tiles where the tiles are fitted. So this should not only improve the warmth of the space, but it will actually improve the aesthetics of the space and it'll be a lot more usable as well. A lot cleaner as well, a lot of dust and debris was coming through, which is no good if you're storing uh, bits and pieces up here. So it's gonna make the space a lot more usable, a lot more eco-friendly and adding value to a property as well. So lots of different benefits and reasons of why this is something uh, that should be considered. Uh, and certainly the folks at Interlake Britain uh, should be happy with the work that we've been uh, undertaking this project. 